Holy shit, what the hell did Mando think was going to happen after it didn't work the first time? Chapter 14, The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 6, The Tragedy. Spoilers ahead. And yep, sometimes Mando ain't so bright, but he sure is dedicated to that little guy Grogu. In fact, the opening scene may have been the most touching moment to date between the two. Short and sweet, without overplaying their hand, and yet still driving the point home. The creators of The Mandalorian get it, and this chapter was a perfect illustration of such. Indeed, this definitely was my favorite installment this season. Even better than The Siege for me, although that one still rocked. But here in this action-packed half-hour installment, there were three cool elements that made this experience especially enjoyable for me. Number one, let's start with the triumphant return of Boba Fett. I remember as a kid always thinking he was a little overrated, and that trend continued for years afterwards. Yeah, he had some cool armor, but I still always thought he was somewhat overrated. Sure, he helped hunt down Han, but what else did he really do? He got bullied around by Vader, and he wasn't much used to Jabba before he seemingly met his untimely demise. Only he didn't, as this season of The Mandalorian revealed. After all those years, we finally got evidence of what Boba Fett is capable of, and he sure did kick a lot of ass. I thought the entire sequence involving him was extremely well done, and at the end of the day, we have more evidence of Mando showing some flexibility in his belief system. We first saw this with Cobb Vanth, and next with Bo-Katan, and now again here with Boba Fett. Mando is slowly but surely warming up to the idea that maybe removing his helmet isn't the worst thing to do. I still maintain that sooner or later, Mando will be given an ultimatum. His helmet or the life of Grogu. Regardless, Fett wound up being another man of honor, as him and Fennec vowed to help Mando and hold up their end of the bargain to ensure the child's safety. This is mighty generous of them, considering they already kicked a great deal of ass on behalf of Mando and his efforts to protect Grogu. Number two, the utter incompetence of the stormtroopers. It never gets old, and they continue finding new and innovative ways for stormtroopers to get slaughtered. They were getting schooled by Shand, Mando, and yeah, as mentioned, Boba Fett himself kicked a lot of ass, and he did so in numerous manners. It was glorious. Even Baby Yoda joined in on the fun, and he was brutalizing this bumbling duo with every last fighting fiber of his being. Baby Yoda was kicking ass too, and Moff Gideon looked thrilled at the display of watching his troops get their asses handed to them. At least some of the stormtroopers in this episode exuded the wisdom to tuck tail and run. You would think more stormtroopers would do this, and you'd think it would happen at the very first sign of danger. Of course, these troopers wound up getting destroyed too, but they did seem a little sharper than most. Holy shit, the Razor Crest got destroyed. And number three, the kidnapping itself. I always figured that this season was building up to this, although I mistakenly believed it would be a cliffhanger finale ending. Instead, it came by surprise and happened with just two episodes left. So in the foreseeable future, we can expect the main quest is all in on trying to rescue the child. Mando already had the aid of Boba Fett and Fennec Shand. No doubt Cara Dune will join in on the fun, and I'm sure Grief Cargo will have a role to play as well in any would-be rescue efforts. It also looks like Miggs Mayfeld will have a role in all of this, although it's difficult to say whether he will be a willing participant in these efforts. 
Whatever the case might be, no doubt the steps to attempting a rescue are already underway, and Mando has some capable bodies aiding him. This doesn't bode well for any stormtroopers who get in their way. But the big question here is, will the rescue efforts conclude before the season concludes? I tend to think not, and if I'm correct, that opens the door to learning more about the mystery surrounding Grogu and his unknown fate in the bigger picture of the Star Wars universe. I for one am extremely fired up for the final two episodes of season two. This is the way. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed, and have a wonderful night. He's one of the best trigger men I've ever seen former Imperial sharpshooter. That's not saying much. I wasn't a stormtrooper, wise ass. And these last points, too accurate for sand people. Only Imperial stormtroopers are so precise. We want the child. Only Imperial Stormtroopers are so precise. Only Imperial Stormtroopers. No, 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 stop! We're friends, we're friends! Kara is my friend!